I'm going to be reviewing care of the client with fluid volume overload. At the conclusion of this video, the nurse should be able to identify the appropriate care for a client diagnosed with fluid volume overload. The nurse needs to know symptoms of fluid volume overload and tonicity of IV fluids, hypotonic, isotonic, and hypertonic. When you're assessing a client that has fluid volume overload, you may see bounding pulse, hypertension, dyspnea, rails and crackles, peripheral edema, and decreased hematocrit and BUN because the more fluids in the bloodstream, the less concentrated the hematocrit and the BUN will be. I want to talk about care of the client with hypervolemia, administer diuretics, restrict fluids and sodium intake, assess breath sounds, check for edema, and put the client in semi fallows position that will help them to breathe and to not be short of breath if they're sitting as upright as possible. Here's the practice question. The nurse cares for the client receiving IV therapy. Which signs and or symptoms correctly indicate to the nurse that the client may be experiencing fluid overload? 1. Decreased blood pressure and pedal edema. 2. Crackles in bases of lungs and cough. 3. Shortness of breath and tracheal deviation. and 4. Decreased skin turgor and cool skin. Number 1 is incorrect. Decreased blood pressure and pedal edema. You would have increased blood pressure and pedal edema. Number 2. Crackles in the bases of lungs and cough is correct. Pulmonary symptoms of fluid volume overload include crackles, shortness of breath, and frothy sputum. Other symptoms might be distended jugular neck vein and increased blood pressure. Shortness of breath and tracheal deviation are signs and symptoms of a collapsed lung. And decreased skin turgor and cool skin are seen with fluid volume deficit.